Hi everyone, welcome to another kitchen and household empties. Let's jump in with vegetables. I do actually buy a fair amount of vegetables that are not in packages like this. So like broccoli, I would have one that is a fresh head of broccoli. I don't save those saran wraps and if I did I wouldn't remember what they were for. So this broccoli floweret, we eat a lot of broccoli because it's one of the few things that Mark will eat and Maggie loves it as well. So definitely broccoli is a big hit in our house. I, the flowerettes are easy. I actually prefer buying the crown and then all of the ends and everything I give to her like a broccoli bone. Celery, she hates celery. I chop it up and I put it in her food and I did a video, I'll link below on how we make her food and we do give her kibble as well. But I explain all of that in that video. Baby carrots, we go through a ton of carrots and these are pretty much, I'd say 100% for Maggie. She gets them at puppy hour, she gets them chopped up sometimes in her food. I throw them and we play go hunt and she goes and finds them. I'll stick them inside a Kong. There's a million ways that we use carrots and she loves them and they're great crunch for her teeth. Tricolor coleslaw again, this is for Maggie. This should be a, the Maggie empties. <laughs> um, we put cabbage in her meal in every morning and night, probably half a cup or so. Sometimes I also buy the fresh cabbage and slice it up but this is really, really handy. Hearts of Romaine, this was for Caesar salad. I've got a really, actually I've got two recipes I'll link below. One is without egg and one is with egg. They're both phenomenal. I love my Caesar salad. So that was really easy. I also buy the big heads of romaine and, you know, those are probably better for you. I don't know that they advertise any different, but I trust the whole head a little more. I'd trust it more if it was from the farmer's market. And then rice, I'll link a sticky rice recipe that we love, and it's super easy. You do it in the oven, and it makes lots of leftovers. But the majority of our rice, again, is for Maggie. We put that in her food, and I talk in my recipe of how I don't believe dogs should be grain free because it causes the taurine deficiency and the heart problems. Eggs. These are not the eggs that were in here. We get our eggs from the farmer's market. We go through probably over a dozen eggs in a week. She eats one egg a day plus the eggs that I put into her cooked food, her homemade food, and then I eat two to three eggs a day. So between both of us, we go through a lot of eggs usually hard boiled but sometimes for me I do them poached in the microwave. I just love eggs. I think they're the perfect food. Half gallon of grass-fed milk. This is what I use to make my yogurt and yes I know I owe you a video on the two different ways that I make yogurt but I love making our own yogurt. The whey which is the liquid you drain off is super healthy for you. It's probiotics. So is the yogurt. I feed that to Maggie every morning and we both have yogurt. I love mine with the Owen powder. It's like a chocolate pudding. It is so decadent and it fills you up because it has so much good protein in it. Parmesan cheese is shredded. I really like this one. Um, I use it in all different recipes. This was probably used up in the Caesar salad that you just saw. There are quite a few of these uh, shredded Colby Jacks and this is a whole mozzarella. If you look at the ingredients, there's more preservatives in the shredded. It's better to buy the whole brick and grate it yourself. I also chop up chunks of this, like little squares, and that's part of her puppy hour. It helps to make her bowels not so soft, but she also loves cheese. Oh, that girl loves her cheese. Wallace and Gromit. Cheese, please. Um, butter, I use a lot of baking. Um, I do butter as well to, like, on our vegetables, like on our broccoli and things like that, but baking. I do an amazing chocolate chip cookie is what this probably went into because it's the unsalted one. So good. So sometimes for convenience, I just grab these um, 
market side extreme cheddar sausages or the Johnsonville better cheddar. I slice them up in maybe half inch, three quarter inch little circles, put them on a plate, throw them in the microwave for 30 seconds. Great, easy, healthy snack. What is better is those cheddar cheese, the shredded that I showed you. I do those with sausage and cream cheese. I'll link the recipe below. Add onions. Oh, I would rather have my own homemade sausage balls since I've been adding onion versus the cheddar or the sausage that you buy. Those sausage balls are so good. I freeze them. I grab two or three, put them on a plate, throw them in the microwave for 30 to 40 seconds. They are so delicious. The onions just give it this wonderful savory taste. They're really good. And I think you could probably add onions to any sausage recipe. So if you don't want to use my sausage recipe, use your own and just try adding onions. Oh, I can't believe how good that makes them. I've never thought of that before. These are apples from Trader Joe's. I probably eat half a one every other day and Maggie probably eats one every other day. You know, we'll give her like a quarter in the morning, quarter in the afternoon. She loves her apples. They're really good fiber and good for her. Oranges. I didn't like these little oranges. They were really hard to peel. I like the bigger uh, navel oranges. These were the mandarins, but Maggie and I split an orange probably every day. She gets probably a third of an orange in the morning and then a third at night. We always give her blueberries, sometimes fresh, sometimes frozen. We throw about 20 blueberries in her home-cooked meal and add some water and then microwave that. And that defrosts this and gets the food to around you know, room temperature. By the time we add in the coleslaw and all of her supplements, then it's at room temperature and then we add in the kibble. In my coffee, I am addicted. I tried to break it because I know these aren't good for you. I have the pumps and I do one pop, pump in my Yeti, which is probably 16 ounces of decaf coffee with some cinnamon and a little splash of milk. I love the pumpkin latte this time of year and the salted caramel. I love that all year long. And this stevia is what I put into my iced coffee. I do iced coffee only. So decaf coffee, cinnamon, a pump of those uh, syrups, and then the stevia. And this is from Trader Joe's. It's $9 for this little thing, but that's how much you need. I've bought other stevia, and you need to use like a quarter to half a teaspoon. So this goes a long ways, and it really sweetens it nicely. I have a strong sweet tooth, so I like a stevia that does the job. <laughs> and Maggie supplements, I talked about this in her video. This is really good for their gut, for their coat, for their joints. I will put her on glucosamine, which will help with her joints at around 18 months. But I used up two because we have one in the valley and one up here. We put one pump in her food in the morning and the night. So this is something I repurchased for each home. Definitely always will have that when we give it to her. These pumpkin seeds. I grind them up. For Maggie, we do a quarter teaspoon in her morning and evening. I talked in her video of how we don't have her on heartworm, so this is like a preventative that we use. And the final few household items, a rinse aid, which is for the dishwasher. Sometimes I'll put in a splash of white vinegar. That gets your dishes, glasses beautifully clean. I also use this sometimes in my floors in my laundry, with baking soda. There's a lot of ways that I use vinegar. I really love vinegar. And like I said, sometimes I use it instead of the rinse aid. The last of the household items here, these are just square snack bags. We use these a lot, whether I've got half an egg for Maggie that I want to put back in the fridge or some cheese, or we're putting some of our things in it, like I'll make up, um, the chicken that I, Mark loves, the Mexican chicken, and he'll do up like a whole thing with just enough for one serving in there. And then you can pull it out, you can have it in a tortilla or over a salad. It's really good to have just these snack size 
portions in the freezer, especially when we eat separately during the week with our work schedules. This sandalwood mainstay, I've got to go into the store and see if I can get any more at Walmart because I don't, I haven't been able to get it on a pickup when I, or, del, you know, delivered, uh, shipped to me. Any way that I can get this, I haven't seen it, so I'll have to go into the store and see if I can find it. I love that sandalwood, it makes a nice scent in your home. And some people I know will say it's not healthy. I think we put a lot more garbage in our system, not saying it doesn't all take a toll, but I try to get good stuff in my body and then worry about the layers externally from there. Cashmere woods, spray this in the toilet. Nobody will know that you've been in there. It's like the poopery, and I really love that cashmere wood scent. My zero water filter. I love my zero water. It filters out your fluoride. It filters out so many things. It comes with a thermometer, and I have tested my sink water, my filtered water that we have on the sink, a filtration system. I've tested the filtered out of the fridge, and then I test my zero water filter. I love my zero water, and it's zero of any of the particulates, including fluoride, which is the main reason that I got this one over others. And when I test it and it starts going up, that it is having particulates because the filter is gone, that's when I replace it. And I bought a whole pack of filters, so it'll last me probably two years, and it's so worth it for me. And then finally, don't squeeze the Charmin. <laughs> um, we love Charmin. We like the red one that's the Mega Roll, or this one, whichever one we have, but that's what we use in the bathroom. So that's everything that I had for my kitchen and household empties. I hope maybe you picked up a tip or two and I'll remember to link the recipes below for you and share any tips that you have. Thank you so much for spending some of your day with me. I always appreciate it and I hope you're having a wonderful day. We'll talk to you next time.